and welcome back to Prophecy Truth Today. My name is Linda Cambeek. Studying prophecy and the book of Revelation is very like solving a puzzle. You must put the puzzle pieces together before you can see the big picture. You may want to view these videos several times. Now this is a continuation of the study on the two beasts of Revelation 13. We talked about the sea beast that's found in Revelation 13, 1 to 10, and the land beast, also called the earth beast several times, from Revelation 13, 11 through 18. Today's study, we will focus on the earth beast, the land beast, the last part of the Revelation 13. So let's learn about some of Revelation 13's puzzle pieces. We want to find out who the land beast is. What does he do? With whom does he make war? Can he be defeated? Who will defeat him? And how can we avoid the dreaded 666? Revelation 13, 11. And I saw another, that is the second beast, coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb and spoke like a dragon. Remember, lest Satan the devil should get an advantage over us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. 2 Corinthians 2.11 So let's do a quick summary of the two beasts. Remember the sea beast had seven heads, and those seven heads were seven religions, world religions. Now the seven heads are a one world church state government that is formed at the start of the 1335 days of the Great Tribulation. The earth beast in Revelation 1311 has lamb's horns and dragon's mouth and it first appears at the fifth trumpet. At first, the devil masquerades as Jesus for five months. He is very benevolent and kind. And then he switches his character to his evil nature. But remember that the earth beast, the devil, is really the puppet master and is controlling the sea beast. In other words, the puppet master, the devil, is pulling the strings to get the sea beast to do what he wants it to do. And he, the earth beast, the devil, exercises or uses all the religious and civil authority of the first beast the One World Church State Co Coalition in his presence and causes everyone on earth and those who dwell in it to worship, that is, to obey the orders of the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. The devil is the puppet master and he empowers the global church state one world government and everybody on earth must obey that one world government. He, the devil, performs great signs so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men. Just as Elijah at Mount Carmel prayed to God to bring fire down, God will allow the devil impersonating Jesus to bring fire down and destroy even complete cities or groups of people. 
and he, the devil, deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which he was granted by God to do in the sight of the sea beast, telling those who dwell on earth to make an image to the sea beast who was wounded by the sword and lived. Now, in Thessalonians, it says, The coming of the lawless one, the devil, is according to the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish, because they did not receive the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this reason, God will send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. And he, the devil, deceives those who dwell on the earth by these signs that he was granted by God to do. You know, this text is easier to understand when you realize that Lucifer, the devil, wants to be worshipped and to be exalted like Jesus. These shall make war with the Lamb, that is, Jesus, and the Lamb will overcome them. For Jesus is Lord of lords and King of kings. Lucifer wants to be worshipped like Jesus, to be Lord of lords. And Lucifer wants to be King of kings, the world's political ruler as well. Lord of lords and king of kings, when the earth beast, the devil, physically appears on earth, he initially shares the spotlight for five months with the sea beast. In other words, he wins over the religious leaders of of the world to curry their favor. And when he has everybody thinking of him as the good guy, Jesus himself, the devil will later demand that those who dwell on the earth will make an image, a theocracy, out of the sea beast. Revelation 13, 14. In other words, the devil wants to eliminate the sea beast and its seven heads and replace it with a theocracy where the devil is both Lord of Lords and King of Kings. The devil, Lucifer, orders the theocracy, that is his own religion, where he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings, both the world's political ruler and the world's religious ruler. So we've just seen how he became Lord of Lords, the head of the theocracy. But he wants to have political power as well. He wants to be king of kings as well, so he makes an image to Lucifer. In Daniel 2, it says, And as the toes of the feet were partially of iron and partially of clay, so the kingdom shall be partially strong and partially fragile. And in the days of these ten kings, see, as in the toes of the feet, Uh, In the days of these ten kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed. Lucifer will set up ten kings as regional puppet rulers that will be responsible to him, that will obey his orders. In Revelation 13, 1 says the same thing. And the sea beast rising up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and on his horns ten crowns. This is Lucifer setting up ten kings as regional puppet rulers. In Revelation 13, 15, and he, the devil, was granted power by God to give breath to the image, the theocracy of the sea beast, 
that the image of the beast, the organization, should both speak, command in order, and cause as many as would not worship the image, the theocracy of the beast, by following its orders, to be killed. You know, worshiping does not just mean bowing down. Worshiping means obeying and following the dictates of God. So Lucifer the devil wants to be worshiped as Lord of Lords. And he wants the whole world to worship Lucifer. He sets up 10 kings to rule the 10 regions of the earth. And he tells these 10 kings and all the people on earth, obey my commands and orders without questions and worship me as God, or I will kill you. He, the devil, causes all, A-L-L, -L, all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast, the devil, or the number of his name, Revelation 13, 16 to 17. So Lucifer has, he's now Lord of Lords and King of Kings, and he sets up the kings to carry out his commands. Lucifer's theocracy will control everything. Food, water, medicine, gas. The devil's theocracy will force you to sign up for the mark of the beast if you want to get any of these necessities. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the earth beast, the devil, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. Lucifer's theocracy will set up a foolproof system to expose who is loyal and who worships him and obeys his every command to obtain food, to obtain medicine and supplies you need just to live, many will volunteer to receive the mark of the beast. 666 is not forced on anyone. The mark may be as simple as a tattoo on your hand or head, just as the Bible states it. In any case, Unless you pledge loyalty to the devil and get the mark, the necessities of life will be withheld from you. The devil will issue a death decree to those who decline to receive the 666 mark of the beast, and this will occur during the sixth trumpet. Let's look again at, at our timeline of the Great Tribulation. We see over here that the sea beast is formed shortly after the first four trumpets when the world is in chaos. And the earth beast emerges lamb-like for five months at the fifth trumpet. This is around day 900. 850 or something like that, into the Great Tribulation. And for a while, everything is good. And then at the sixth trumpet, the earth beast changes and emerges dragon-like. And he issues the mark of the beast and the death decree at the sixth trumpet.
It looks pretty much like the devil wins in his battle with God. But not so quick, not really. In the latter part of their reign during the Great Tribulation, when rebels have become completely wicked, a fierce-looking king, the devil, a master of intrigue, will arise. We are reading from Daniel 8. In the latter part of their reign, that means during the Great Tribulation, and he, the devil, will become very strong, but not by his own power. God allows him to be powerful. And he, the devil, will cause astounding devastation and will succeed in whatever evil thing he does. Continuing on, he will destroy those who are mighty, the holy, God's saints on earth. He will cause deceit to prosper, and he will consider himself superior. That is, he'll set himself up as Lord of Lords and King of Kings, and I'm the best. And when they feel secure, he will destroy many and take his stand against the Prince of Princes, Jesus. And yet, this is the good news part, he will be destroyed, but not by human power, but by God's sovereign power. This was reading from Daniel 8, verses 23 to 25. As a recap, let's quickly review the sea beast and then the earth beast. This sea beast arrives during the first part of the 1,335 days of the Great Tribulation. The seven great religions of the world combine together to form a global church, state, one world government. This government will last for 42 months or 1,260 days. And while they are in power, this sea beast will make war with the saints, and it appears like he will defeat them. All the world will follow after the sea beast. And who is the puppet master that's controlling the sea beast? It is none other than Lucifer the devil, the earth beast. Now let's quickly review the earth beast. The earth beast, Lucifer the devil, appears with lamb's horns, but a dragon's mouth. And he gives his power, his throne, his authority to the global church, state, one world government. When he appears, he appears as the lamb kind, meek, willing to do good. But he sets up his theocracy after about five months and issues the mark of the beast. And the saints on earth, he delivers a universal death decree if they will not follow him. In this time, if we choose to obey God, rather than Satan, we may be killed. <sighs> this has been quite a study, hasn't it? This is what we've learned, this land beast, the devil, the earth beast, from Revelation 13, 11 through 18. Who is the land beast? Well, he came up from out of the earth, and we know that's God, where God sent the devil and his angels when he cast them out of heaven. And what does he do? He makes war against the children of God, anybody who doesn't follow him. Can he be defeated? Not by human hands, not by us, but God himself can defeat him, and he will. So how are we to avoid the 666? We choose not to go get 
the 666 mark of the beast, when we refuse to obey the devil and we do not follow his decrees and we choose to obey God instead. Remember, studying prophecy in the book of Revelation is something like putting together a puzzle. Each piece has its place, and you have to put the pieces together before you can see the big picture. You may want to review these videos several times, but no matter what, keep studying your Bible. Earth's time is running out. Soon you will be facing a test of your loyalty. Remember, Jesus is coming soon.